So, if you have been following this channel for any length of time, you may remember seeing a video called Why We Don't Want to Get Married. And in it, Charles and I listed out the reasons why marriage just simply was not for us. We did not want that. Now, as I talk to you now, I am engaged. Charles and I are gonna get married. So, that's a pretty big 180. And I thought it might be interesting to talk a little bit about how we went from not wanting to get married to literally planning our actual wedding. We've actually filmed a reaction video to that video from four years ago but there's about an hour's worth of raw footage, so it's gonna take quite a long time to edit, so I thought, I'm just gonna update you, give you the bullet points, and that's what this video is. But first, I just wanna really stress that these are purely my views, kind of Charles's views as well, but he's not here right now, so I'm just gonna say, these are my views, and anything I state is not meant as a statement of ultimate truth, it's purely my truth <laughs> that I'm stating, and all without any judgment. Just wanna make that incredibly clear before we move on. So the first thing to note is that I don't think it's so much mine and Charles's relationship that has changed, more so our relationship to marriage that has altered. And I think a lot of that comes from the fact that we are big fans of questioning social norms. We do not like to just blindly follow things because we think we should or because other people are doing it. We would much rather live as intentionally as possible, which I think is something we actually learn through minimalism. And this for us has involved really digging in, asking ourselves questions, trying to work out what we really think of it without the, the noise of, you know, social expectations and family expectations, and even, you know, the expectations of what you as a younger person had for you at the age you are right now. And I think that part of the journey to getting to here has involved really working out what is right for us. And I think that that is one of the great roles that marriage can actually serve is that whether or not you decide to get married, actually spending time to think what does or what could marriage potentially mean for us as a couple is is worth something in its own right. But I think it was really important for us to. I think if we'd landed at this decision without having gone through it and this winding questioning path, then we wouldn't have earned our place here. So one of the most important things for me when I decided I didn't want to get married is that I really liked the idea of choosing Charles every single day. I really wanted to choose the relationship every single day rather than being tied to him through some obligation or some contract that I signed. And while I still think that's a very beautiful idea, I don't think it's particularly realistic. And I think what one of the things that marriage does is it's quite a practical solution to the problem of life not always being easy. Because it's so, you know, it's lovely to say and it's easy to choose to be in a relationship every single day if things are going smoothly, if the sun's out and your tummy's full and you've had enough sleep and you are happy and, you know, everybody's healthy. These are times when it's really easy to choose to be in a relationship every single day. But the thing with life is that it is not always easy. To choose somebody every single day is only thinking about the day as one unit of time and it's difficult to build something lasting from that being your, you know, to be zoomed in to something as small as one day. Whereas marriage is a way of zooming out of your life and looking at it, you know, the very, very long term. And it's acknowledging that to get the best out of the very, very long term, you have to make certain commitments and you are going to have to build things together. Because ultimately, a marriage is the, like, the ultimate forming of your team. But I also think that one of the main things that marriage is important for is creating a situation, creating a space where essentially two people are tied together and it makes it difficult for them to leave. And in that space, where two people have to face each other. You have to face the realities of, you know, the parts of humanity that are slightly darker than we care to discuss. It makes space for complete honesty and complete authenticity because it is very nerve wracking to show certain parts of yourself to someone who you think might or could leave, but somebody who's chosen and they've stood up in front of their friends and family and they've said, I am not going to leave this person. That creates a space where you are both free to shine a light on the parts of you that you would maybe be more comfortable being left in shadow. And when you shine that light upon those parts of you, you learn that they are actually, you know, normal. You know, the parts of you that are potentially shrouded in shame and we all have them. I think marriage creates a space where it is safe to to show them, to 
present this this is a bit of me you can't leave so you have to look at it <laughs> and of course this isn't to say that the only way to do that is through marriage that's not the case at all but these are things that i've started to see marriage being helpful in it's quite odd because as two people who shunned tradition for such a long time the whole thing has been pretty traditional so you know charles asked my dad's permission before he proposed and he got down on one knee when he proposed and it, it's all been very traditional and also I feel like we are potentially the kind of couple who might have been more suited to eloping but because of Covid and because of all the lockdowns we thought it would be nice to actually do something where we get everyone that we love together again. So we are doing the proper wedding as well so there's so many things which four years ago I would never have seen coming that not only are they here but I am really enjoying, I am loving them, I'm having such a lovely time. This engagement bubble is gorgeous and we are very happy and we're very excited for the wedding but I just kind of wanted to share that bit of news with you as well we're actually getting married quite soon so I will keep you updated but yeah so I just wanted to update you and if you want to keep updated then feel free to follow me on Instagram where admittedly I haven't posted in a year and a half but I plan to because there's going to be some very nice photos hopefully on their way and also to subscribe to this channel where I'll be talking more about, I don't know, like vegan weddings, would you be interested in that? Or like sustainable weddings, weddings on a budget, this kind of thing. Let me know if there's any of that that you would fancy seeing. But yeah, I hope you're doing very well and I will see you in the next video. Sending lots of love. Goodbye.